Hey y'all, so today <laughs> I'm doing something a little bit different and I don't really know how to say it, I'll just show you, but um, yeah. Well, first of all, my room is a mess because I'm in the middle of redecorating it. So there's like, there's stuff everywhere. At my school, and I know a lot of other schools do this, where you have to take care of a baby for like a week or so. I don't really know the exact time limit, but I thought that I would take care of a baby to see how much our moms all do for us. <laughs> this is more of a video where I'm trying to appreciate everything that our mothers do and all kinds of mothers, single mothers, two moms, uh, teen moms, everything like that. So I'm trying to appreciate them more by taking care of a baby. I believe the program said it's like a day long. I do have clothes for it, but I feel like I picked the worst weekend to do this ever because I'm in the middle of redecorating my room and I also have two foster dogs right now. So I really have like three babies that I'm taking care of. I guess it is like the best weekend I could have picked because it is pretty much representative of what a mom does every day. A lot of stuff. And I'm also leaving for a trip for three weeks on Tuesday. So it's like three days away. So I'm gonna go packing for that. Redecorating my room. There's Brooklyn. You like my baby? What if I just dropped it? It has a, if you drop it, it cries. I read that. It's it has a not pain, a light no, baby. No, it's heavier than a newborn for sure. And it does not look like a newborn to me, like at all. It's not that cute to look at. Look at there, look at it. <laughs> This will be interesting, trying to take care of a baby. And once again, this is just to learn how to appreciate our moms, everything like that. So this will be a fun experience, a good experience. Um, it won't be fun, I'm not, I'm lying, it's not gonna be fun. Here's all my clothes from Target. You're like a mom, shopping for baby. The baby ah! is crying. Oh, this is so difficult though, because I put clothes on it, but the thing is behind. It's there, okay, hold on. This is very hard while recording. What does it even want? Attention? Do you want attention? No, no, no. Try diaper. Diaper thing. Oh, oh, that was it. Oh, I got a little coo. It's making noises now. No, it's not anymore. Of course no, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna keep making my bed. It's so hard with the baby, literally. Look at its shoes though. Its shoes are pretty cute. I'm not even gonna lie. It's got a pretty cute outfit on. Just chilling in the bed while I build these bookshelves. So, all right. So I took a pause in building my bookshelf um, to take the dogs to the vet. The baby <laughs> just cried. I know the baby. I heard the baby crying. Baby crying needed to be burped. But yeah. I think the dogs are probably giving you a better run for what it's like to have a child. Oh yeah, baby. for sure, for sure. Maisie just threw up all over the back seat. <laughs> just got a big whip of it. This is all I have to clean it up with. I don't even have a gloves, Sh nothing. I'm just shoveling it in with two bags. <laughs> Definitely see that I'm getting more baby experience from the dogs than probably this baby down here. That was her experience. In the car one time, both twins threw up macaroni <laughs> and cheese all over their car seats. Ew. And I had to clean up macaroni and cheese after driving to wherever we were going. It was so mad. But yeah, I just scooped throw up, so it's definitely a mom thing. It came from a dog, so yes. Oh, the baby's crying again. I've been dealing with the dogs all day long. We've had so, much, so many problems with them. What do you think it is? Diaper? Diaper. Okay, it's diaper. Not diaper. Check feeding. Oh, you abused me. There we go. Good. Are you gonna hold her? You gonna babysit? See, I've been dealing with the dogs for forever. And then, as soon as I finish up wrapping up, cleaning up, literally anything that could come out of a dog, uh, baby cries, of course, so. <sighs> so, baby's on the bed right now. Just cried like literally three times in 10 minutes and I don't even know why. I don't think supposed to cry that much. I am exhausted. Literally, it's not even this baby because this baby's like not hard to take care of. Trip, packing, the dogs, been dealing with the dogs all day, building this furniture, getting everything up here, carrying boxes up, shopping for my trip, so many things, my online classes, homework, grading assignments. I guess I'm just a mom right now. <laughs> this, is what it feels, I guess this is what it feels like to be a mom. Doing everything all at once, let me tell you guys, it is exhausting and I already want 
Yay! We are on our way to I the movie theater. I bought these clothes for my niece. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. Oh gosh, she looks a little scary, honestly. Her face is Your baby's kind of... She kind of got a triple like? chin. She doesn't even have a name. Does she look like you or the dad? Who's the dad? There's no, it's, oh. just, it's just the fake baby, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so did she, did, he get, did she get the fake from you? <laughs> oh, 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 Joe. Bad Joe. We're going in the movie. Watch of Spider Man. I just I swear if this baby cries, I'm so mad. <sighs> All right, in the theater. <laughs> It'll be fun. So just got home from the movies. The movie is pretty good. I wish I could have seen a little bit more of it. The baby was a little bit of a distraction, but overall, pretty good. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about that because she was good in the movie, and so I'm worried that she's not going to be good tonight. I'm trying to sleep, and I'm hope I'm afraid she's going to be laugh like wake up a lot. So that's going to be fun. I'm hoping she doesn't cry a lot, but I really cannot predict it at all. This will be interesting. Yay! Oh, he's crying. I mean, never had to have children. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna go out in the morning. So we went out of the house to take the dog on a walk. Still have the baby, and this baby's too heavy to take on a walk. So my arms are pretty much full. The baby got up twice last night. It was like, I don't even know, three o'clock and four o'clock, something like that. I don't really know what it wanted to have done. I think it was diaper change and burp. So yeah. Definitely the worst part about this baby is like it crying at 3 o'clock in the morning and dealing with the baby and the dogs. So I've been up with the dogs for like four hours, um, watching them, taking them to the bathroom. And I had the baby down there and she cried a few times, which is really annoying because the whole house is sleeping. So I had to like find what she wanted so fast before she woke up everybody. Um, but then eventually Daxon and Paisley came downstairs and I fell asleep on the couch and I wake up and Paisley just like rocking the baby. <laughs> She's like took over for me because I fell asleep. Hope I'm a better mom than I am with this dog. <laughs> In the middle of building shelves in Brooklyn and baby decides to go. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't have enough hands for this, honestly. Okay, let's see. Diaper change. Yep, diaper change. And let's build these shelves. <laughs> so just for the most part, finished building everything in here. And then I realized that it's like six o'clock and the baby hasn't cried in like three hours. And I'm really concerned now. Like maybe like the program's over or something because they said that it was only like seven hours. But literally, she's just been silent since like two. But there's no buttons on, so either like the battery died or the program's over. On the bright side, most of the furniture is done in this room, so I have that checked off my list. Still have lots to do though, so the mom life. <laughs> it's actually pretty good, like probably not safe, but whatever. It's a fake baby, okay? How, how damaged could it get? My mom and I were just talking and I almost just locked the baby in the car, so that's great. Don't worry guys, I remembered. All right, <laughs> we're good, don't worry. So now we are about to go, oh, I must drop the baby, oops. Now we're about to go into Walmart. <laughs> kind of forgot we had a baby in here. She just left the baby no, fully unattended. No, I was getting something from if the pharmacy. If she were doing this for high school, and she would now have And you left the baby, you had the car, and for the record, you walked away. She almost left it in the car. Almost. She's now left it unattended almost. in the store. Okay, if it, guys, I'm not gonna be a bad mom. If it was a real baby, I would care more, but it's a doll. And I'm not that concerned for its life because it's fake. Mm. So. Which is why it cries all night. <laughs> yeah. She need a burp, man. Babies do not weigh this much. Well, not when they're like this young. How I don't young? know. How old is she? Maybe a couple weeks old. A month. Month old, that's why I was like. How much do you think she weighs? Eight pounds? I thought I said he's Brady. That's what, some babies are born at eight pounds. Jeez. Could you imagine birthing this? 
So if you can't tell, I got home from the store. Tried to pack up the rest of my stuff because I was grabbing stuff for my trip um, at Walmart. I think it's about time to retire the baby. Interesting experience, I guess I could say. I do say that this um, baby is not very realistic in that she's a little bit more annoying, I feel like, than a real baby because her cry is like the same cry over and over again. It's not even like, because babies have the same cry, but hers is like the same two sounds every single time. And I feel like it's not like really realistic because especially this doll, like it's just I put a key in and she stops crying. Whereas in like an actual baby, like I'd actually have to burp it or like change the diaper or something and don't have to deal with throw up or poop or anything like that, which I did deal with the dogs, um, with the dogs, so I did get some experience with that. Overall, it was a very tiring experience. She kept me up almost every single night because she cried like every hour, at least every hour. But yeah, I just want to say that moms literally do it all and it's way harder than it looks, so go moms. But at the end of the day, this doll is fake. So I still get my sleep, hallelujah. But yeah, this is a really good experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me being a fake mom for a weekend. I was I'm still very tired. I need to catch up on my sleep. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, comment down below your favorite part of this video. And if you have ever had a little baby doll, like one of these fake ones in school, because I know they do them a lot. Um, but make sure you guys watch my other videos and I will see you guys next week. Bye.